and welcome back as we mentioned prior to the commercial break uh, we would be joined by our friends from niche mm -hmm. uh, to speak about the annual street art festival yep and for 2017 there are a lot of things to look forward to for sure. we're joined by karen vernon she's a creative director at niche we're also joined by Diego Sapien, he's a cultural attaché. Good, Good morning. And Enrique Minharis, a painter. Good morning, folks. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You are here again. I yes. remember when you were here like a it month ago. Was, and yeah, the, we I saying, know. It's a month away and now it's here. I know. I yeah. know. There's so, I'm sure there's a lot been going on behind the scenes to get Saturday all excited oh, yeah, and ready. Definitely. So tell us what you have in store for the rest of the week preparing up to Saturday. Okay, well, um, you know, we, you know, we're doing final touching touches, um, touching our eyes and crossing our T's, yeah, yeah, making yeah. sure that everybody who requested the boot has a boot, tables, chairs, tents. Yeah. You know, it, it's a lot to get that. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to power up the tents once they're up. Mm -hmm. So what we do, we start from Friday evenings. You know, set up okay. what we can. We block off the streets at six a.m. on Saturday morning. You know, mm -hmm. the traffic police try to move all the traffic that's you know in that mm -hmm. area or try to have let people not park there yeah so we can have a smooth right, sailing right, and setting right, up right, the stages right. and all that mm -hmm. very exciting i mean you know you're walking along the street and you know people say yes it's this saturday we're coming we're i coming. know so, i know tell yeah. us a little bit more about the participants that are the uh, that are ha having boots at, on saturday okay um the, the food section this year um, um we have some new additions for example a mother fish who is doing like specialized mini pizza you go and you order mm -hmm. your specialized pizza we have vegan bites Okay. Um, there, of course, there's a Belizean food, mm -hmm. barbecue. Um, there is a special section for just desserts, a special booth for just desserts. Mm -hmm. There's O Sugar from Placencia, the sweet, the sweet, the candy store. Mm -hmm. um, lizard juice, mm -hmm. and a, a, a guy who just does juices. <laughs> so I mean, you know, it's not made of real lizards. <laughs> <laughs> you can come on out and. and I thought I wanted to try that. <laughs> <laughs> it has a little bit of alcohol in there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, and, um, you know, we have a seating area mm -hmm. um, under a tent, and we'll have um, Omalewa in that area. So mm -hmm. it will be a very nice and lively area in the Thanks. food court. The, the vendors are um, a lot of artists. We have a lot of, like, mm -hmm. the, these two are from um, depiction paintings, Kevin. Um, he couldn't come, so he sent some paintings. And, you know, we'll have um, Shaquille, Alex Sanker. Um, let me look at my list. <laughs> Katie, Katie Ocean, Gilvano Swayze. Mm -hmm. We have Lula, um, Isela, and, and Khadija from Placencia. Mm -hmm. um, Maureen Navarrete doing fashion. Mm -hmm. We have the Penado sisters from, down, um, from West. Angela Velasquez from um, San Pedro. We have some artists from Orange Walk and some from Benke. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's a wide cross section of artists coming out. So, um, you know, we are excited to get that done. And we well, have Enrique. Enrique. <laughs> Enrique will be doing a, a mural type. Um, art mm -hmm. on, on King Street. Nice. So what I've always found interesting from a <coughs> sociocultural perspective is the fact that one can get to know a country and the people based on experiences such as these where you have a confluence of art, music, mm -hmm. food, mm -hmm. everything you need to know about mm -hmm. Belize right and Belizeans will be on display mm -hmm. on Saturday. Exactly. Uh, talk to us about the entertainment aspect of it. I know you mentioned that um, Omolewa Osain will be at the food court, correct? Yeah, they will mm -hmm. be in the food court. Are they the feature in terms of music this year? The feature is the La Rabea Band. Perfect. Nice. So they will be ending off tonight. <coughs> and I must say that we are, we are dedicating the, um, the main stage to the memory of Leela Vernon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have the Youth Orchestra and the Brockdown Project doing some of Leela's <laughs> music. I mean, and this was already... Mm -hmm. In, in a plan already, so you nice. know, it, it just happened that it worked out this way. And yeah. we have um, Doggy also doing some Brockdown music, okay. so you know, we're dedicating the main stage in the memory of Leila Vernon. I get nice. cool, and I I exactly. I know, so you know, I you'll know. hear some of her music. Mm -hmm. um, so come on out, that, that starts at about 5 mm -hmm. and it goes on to 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. But everything else happens, you know. Well, we start, set, we start setting up, and people are out there, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, the, it, it doesn't officially start until 2 p.m., but you know, the food court is open, so people come out for lunch. And people are walking around, you know, watching people set up. Some people actually help. So, you know, it, it's an it's mm -hmm. a all-day fun family affair. For sure. So, let's hear more about you guys. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about uh, your respective uh, skills in terms of you, you're a painter and you'll be doing a mural. <coughs> Talk to us about your history as an artist, a visual artist. Well, I have started from uh, the, when I was very, very young, actually a kid. I, 
I always knew that I, I, I wanted to be a painter or at least, well, when I was in kindergarten, I, I wanted to be a cartoonist because that was all I, you know, I, I used to see mm -hmm. back then on TV. But uh, <laughs> I, uh, I, I ended up studying when I was like around 10, 11, like really straight academic kind of mm -hmm. uh, school until I went to Mexico City. I moved to... I'm not from Mexico City. I, I'm, I'm from the north of the country. I'm from Ensenada. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I moved to Mexico City at, at 18 to start you know, art school. So I stayed there and since then I've been basically experimenting and playing and, and, and doing all sorts of things that, that uh, <laughs> sometimes come up. <laughs> like, like for example now, um, I don't consider myself as, uh, uh, as a, a muralist in terms of that mm -hmm. uh, that's the only thing I do Thank but you. in the past years I have uh, I had the opportunity to to make big stuff you mm -hmm. know big I would call it big drawings because mm -hmm. uh, I don't I don't go to the traditional medias or traditional techniques mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. you know the uh, uh, old 20th century mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. Mexican muralism. You so know? you do like buildings and stuff like that, or? I haven't done buildings yet. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, 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 yeah. First, first things I, I, I did as, as, as in mural mm -hmm. terms were basically big drawings, like mm -hmm. pencil. Okay. Pencil work. You know. So like some of us who are into like modern art and some aspects of art, whenever we hear like uh, muralists, we think of people <laughs> like Banksy and people who do these huge uh, paintings and murals on walls of buildings and what Very have you. Very recognizable ones yeah, too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I will actually, I, I, I would think uh, more like Diego Rivera and mm -hmm. Siqueiros and those uh, mm -hmm. uh, Mexican, uh, Mexican murals and the, they had a, uh, as band, band uh, it's always it tends to have a political mm -hmm background and point of view or at least a, an, an a statement <laughs> back then uh, post-revolution mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, Mexican Revolution I mean that that was that was the the, the, the main conceptual uh, base of, of, of the muralism um, mm -hmm. they were um, spreading a message after yeah. the uh, the revolution towards the uh, all the social changes and and all of that so it had a, a, a certain also like a certain way to mm -hmm. to to be represented uh, i would consider uh, <coughs> Bansky and and all these um, actual contemporary muralism more as a street art kind of thing mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. that i would think uh, I, I i would think of it as a to take like graffiti to a further more artsy aesthetic, yeah. you know, and yeah. with a certain like a specific con content as, as, as mostly politics. You know? mm -hmm. Well, Diego, tell us mm -hmm. a little bit about why the Mexican embassy decided to to join in on the fun at the street art festival. Is this the first time? And and we know on um, what ins what inspired you to bring Enrique mm -hmm. to to participate well, as well. The, the Mexican Institute and the Mexican embassy <coughs> has participated in, in other editions of the street mm -hmm. art festival. We have collaborated before. Mm -hmm. Uh, for me, it's my first time participating, and also uh, I, when I, because I know the, the work of Enrique, uh, I, I thought it could fit in really well with the with the street art theme. It's not it's because it's a thing that is done right there. It's not previously prepared, and Enrique has this this like a special um, a special gift to to do things a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. And he was, he was, uh, for me, I think he, he could out be... Out of nothing. Out of nothing, <laughs> he could like, um, because I, I have seen him, I have seen, ex actually I have a, maybe assisted him in one or two things that maybe just grabbing the ladder or yeah. passing with a shot <laughs> or <laughs> passing with the pencil, etc. Important so rule. Important. No, 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 important. Like doing the real, yeah. the real things because I'm, I'm, I have to admit that I'm, Totally unable to do anything else besides drawing and painting. And <laughs> like, you give me a hammer and a nail, and and you and, and you, you just <laughs> laugh about me. About and, me. And also <laughs> it, it was important for, for the Mexican Embassy and for the Mexican Institute to bring in a, a young artist also, mm -hmm. so uh, he could also collaborate and do do a, a mural mm -hmm. at the Mexican Cultural Institute and changing a little bit of the Belize city's landscape yeah. because we have a. a well, to say honestly, a little bit ugly wall at the outside <laughs> of the institute, 
but Enrique has come uh, to help us to shape, to shape to it a little bit, to, 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 to give it a little stick and, uh, <laughs> and a makeover. Mm -hmm. And we were working two or three days with the uh, students from the art program from uh, St. John's College. I'd like mm -hmm. to say thank you to Mr. Kirkland Smith, mm -hmm. to Mr. also Jasper Musa the, uh, over there at the art center at the uh, St. John's College. Mm -hmm. The, the students and the kids. Mm -hmm. The kids yeah. have been very helpful in three sessions. We have seen around 150, 170 kids wow. that have been very, very uh, um, supportive, and they have, they have uh, uh, given gave Enrique a lot of ideas of how mm. and what he could do. And yesterday, actually, we had the final ideas idea session. We call them mm -hmm. with the students, so it could be um, with a, a joint effort, a collaborative, a col collaborative er effort because. Nowadays, it's almost impossible to do something just uh, personally, just yeah. by one, yeah. was, by just one exactly. person. Now, going back to the street art festival, Karen, this is several years in terms of uh, this initiative taking off and the fact that I would want to think it has only grown. Mm -hmm. I have attended for at least the past three years, for instance, mm -hmm. and Every year, I notice that more and more Belizeans are drawn to downtown Belize City, where this event is being held. Is there anything uh, new this year that you would say will stand out in terms of the overall experience as opposed to previous years? Um, seven years to be exact. Seven yeah. years. There, okay. there's, al there's always something new, um, a new artist bringing a different you know, outlook. Yeah. Um, I like the idea of live art, which will be happening mm -hmm. out there. Um, new artists, um, it's hard to tell because, you know, some people have come before, maybe missed a couple of years and are coming mm -hmm. back. So it's hard to tell. Um, the, the, in the kids zone, we'll be having um, a, puppet, a puppet show for the kids, which mm -hmm. is new. Um, an ongoing puppet show, yeah. And, um, of course, the, the kite mm -hmm. workshop that's always as, uh, that's the, done by Belize City Council. And that's always so popular with the kids, you know, they, they walk into the booth they get a, an opportunity to make their own kites and walk away with it. Mm -hmm. So that's always so popular. And the youth <laughs> stage, um, Joseph Stamp is managing that stage and he's doing, actually doing a concert this year. Okay. I'm not sure the, of the artist lineup, but mm -hmm. you know, that, that's going to be very popular with the, with the youths. Well, tell us a little bit about what you're going to be doing. I know you don't want to give away all your secrets, <laughs> Enrique, <laughs> but tell us a little, bit, <laughs> a little bit about what we're going to expect. No, well, uh, <laughs> Every time I have a chance to make a, I would call it like a site-specific kind of work, mm -hmm. uh, I uh, try to make it a new experience. Mm -hmm. Not only in terms of techniques, mm -hmm. which I uh, uh, try to find a way to adapt it to the situation in terms of techniques, mm -hmm. in a technical way of speaking. Mm -hmm. But this time is, is the first time that I'm, um, I thought of making it more interested in uh, with uh, to make it a coll collective, color mm -hmm. uh, collaborative, mm -hmm. I'm not English, <laughs> and um, and to have a, a big part of the process of the creative process, mm -hmm. uh, and allow more people to get involved with it, not make it as a you know as mm -hmm. a solo thing, you make know, it more interactive. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. and and that way, c considering the short time that I'm, I'm going to be here, uh, mm -hmm. uh, that, that way all the, the experiences shared mm -hmm. will bring us all to have, a, in, a, in, in a quick way, something to tell about, uh, well, our relationship, you know, Mexico, Belize, and, yeah. the, and the little things that I've been getting from my experience here. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> how do you how do you rein that in though? Because when you have a bunch of people working on an art project, how do you ensure that it's it's uni unified in the sense that you don't you don't want to um, restrict people in their creative you know expression? Uh, that's, yeah, that's a that's like you a also double want it not to look awful. Yeah, um, I know that's very ambiguous. It's, yeah. it's very like uh, yeah. you, you don't. Uh, yeah, I'm in, I I wouldn't like to be this kind of like straight director, just yeah. like doing mm -hmm. ordering. You yeah. know, I want I, I would like them. This is very important that I would like them to to to, to be to be part of it, to feel part of it, like to it's in the future be experience. like, okay, that's that's me. <coughs> mm -hmm. And then um, this might end up be um, not not only the result of it, which is I don't know, it's like a flipping coin, you know, mm -hmm. but 
the, 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 the whole experience of it will be like, okay, kids, I mean, they're very young. Uh, when we're young, we have lots of illusions and lots of uh, ideas of what mm -hmm. an art life could be, you mm -hmm. know, and sometimes it's not, you know, yeah. like the real life is something that goes yeah. very far from like whatever we think about art glamour. Yeah. So um, this is a brief idea of, okay, kids, this is, this is how a project starts from zero. This is how mm -hmm. Like all the different things that a, that a, that that an artist takes from mm -hmm. all the factors and all the things that that we have there to grab from to make something and put it on 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 a surface, you know. So so this is this is basically the exercise. Like okay, we have this, we have this time, we have this wall, we're all and 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 the way that I that I that I might have been, you know, kind of like encouraged into a certain kind of way is that. I, I briefly show them the kinds of things that I've done on walls. Mm -hmm. So they could have a kind of idea of where do I come from yeah. uh, in an aesthetic way. So when I ask them to, to have a feedback and give me their ideas, they, they had been guided in a way unconsciously, yeah. like, okay, so, well, th this guy is making this kind of thing. So, And, um, and yesterday, yeah, we... we uh, and ended up having some some cool ideas that, that I was really amazed with them because they were really turned on and they were like, how about this and how yeah. about this and how about this. Okay. So there was a point where we were like, okay, we have lots of ideas and now we have to, <laughs> like, you know, know, like fun. shape yeah. and like yeah. Yeah. takes. The, so so uh, today is going to be very interesting. I hope. Nice. Yeah. We also have another artist from Orange Walk, um, Eddie Elvis, who will be doing a mural also on Albert Street. Yeah, so nice, nice. it's going to be you know quite fun to come out and watch these in action. Mm -hmm. Now, for <laughs> the average Belizean person who will be visiting the Street Art Festival on Saturday, and I would put myself among those people who would just be strolling down Albert Street looking at different stuff. Has there been a move or is there any idea to sort of regulate some of the prices or in terms of the arts, the pieces of art that are on sale. I know they have paintings, they have uh, woodwork stuff. Mm -hmm. You have Culture. all these the jewelry. jewelry. Is this at the discretion of the, the artist? Totally. At the artist, totally. okay. Yeah, whatever okay. They, they do in their booth, whatever they sell, that's theirs totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we, we, we don't get involved in that at all. So each artist that decides whatever they want they to charge. They value their work. Exactly, and what they want to bring out as well, you mm -hmm. know. But we definitely encourage Made in Belize. For sure. And mm -hmm. I think it's hard to, 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 to restrict an artist that way. To tell exactly. Them, well, you mm -hmm. need to put this price on your... Yeah. Because mm -hmm. that's their expression. Yeah, yeah they yeah. know yeah. that they're a street art festival, you yeah. know. Of course, the smaller, cheaper stuff will mm -hmm. sell, yeah, as opposed yeah. to the bigger stuff. But, mm -hmm. you know, you can bring out the bigger stuff anyway and have it an sure. exhibition so people could know, mm -hmm. okay, I know, he, I know he can do a work like this, like yeah. Kevin does, Kelvin does, and you know, maybe I can order in the future. So to an extent, it, it can serve as a self promotion, promotion. definitely, okay. big for promotion sure. for, for and it's artists. And it's, it's an avenue where pers persons can come out and, you know, uh, yeah, I never appreciate. Know, exactly, I didn't know this was, the kind of yeah, art that yeah, I didn't know that, so, you know, somebody can actually make this. For sure. Like to me, the jewelry pieces are amazing, like, you know what they like do with the jewelry. Like you're wearing now. Exactly, <laughs> these are from <laughs> Khadija. Yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> Perfect. So we're just about out of time. I'd like to ask you, Karen, <laughs> to make a pitch mm -hmm. to those who are watching and those who are anticipating uh, this year's art festival. Okay, um, come on out. Um, for people who have been there, you know what it's about. For people who haven't, it's a fun affair for the entire family, the children, the adults. Um, there's a kid zone, the food court, you can come out and eat. There's entertainment right through until 10 p.m. So come on out and come party with us. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Exactly. That's our theme. Well, I'm just very thankful to the Mexican Institute to have this experience. Mm -hmm. And um, everybody's also welcome to the wall to come by and, and, and just share, you know. Art background or no, just come. Interact. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Would I be able we to will, help? Yeah, we would like to also just finally also invite the general public if they want to uh, Join us maybe in the production of the mural of the Mexican Institute. I would like to thank also, of course, the Mexican Embassy, Nietzsche, everyone uh, uh, who has sponsored, who has <laughs> made this possible. 
I would like to thank uh, Mr. Gustavo Garcia and Melissa Shagri from Belay Science Limited. They have been very helpful Big with help. us. They have a lot of been helping the production with the short time with the materials. They have been a very big help for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, of course, each, every, everybody involved in the, in the pro, of course, the students from the St. John's College. They yes, have yes. An infi infinite gratitude for them. Mr. Mm -hmm. Kirkland Smith also, they have mm -hmm. been very helpful with this project. And mm -hmm. of course, they can, they can just be there, maybe take a picture. Just see, today I think we're going to start producing in the, right in the wall today, the Mexican is there's going to be a site. Mm -hmm. to, can to today. today, yeah. Okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. Karen? I have yeah. to. <laughs> well, how can I forget the pandemonium steel pan, building yeah, the streets, doing entertainment. Mm -hmm. And we also have the John Kuno dancers from Languiga mm -hmm. in the streets performing. Wow. And I'd like to thank our sponsors, of course, Niche, the downtown rejuvenation project, Atlantic Bank, McNabb, um, Boyne and Boyne, the Belize City Council, um, Angela Spurs, um, of course, the Mexican Embassy, um, Krem, Love. Thank everybody who sponsored who, and who will come out and support the artists here on Saturday. Mm -hmm. And right. as I said, come party with us. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and thank thanks you. for being yeah, with us. Sure. Thank you for the invitation. <laughs> for this chance. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So we're going to take a commercial break, and when we return, it's to discuss the life of Belize's cultural icon, Leela Vernon. And we're going to be joined by Ms. Myrna Manzanares. As I mentioned earlier, she's an executive member of the National Creole Council as we do our reflection on this great Belizean woman. Stick around. <laughs> 